Hey, how's it going, everyone? It is Drew again with the brand new release of two new fairy tale games. I just kind of wanted to talk about them and give my thoughts on these two games. Those two games being Fairy Tale Dungeons and Fairy Tale Beach Volleyball Havoc. I have a few criticisms that apply to both of these games that I'm going to talk about first, and then I'll get to each individual game and kind of give my thoughts on them. So both of these games don't really have voice acting, and I would have loved there to be a voice acting element to this. I know it was kind of like a contest, how these games were made, uh, like a fan contest, uh, hence why we probably don't have assets that uh, a higher production would have. So talking first about Fairy Tale Beach Volleyball Havoc. This game is very chaotic. I think at the beginning of the match, it's uh, pretty chill and uh, you get basic abilities, which honestly, most of the abilities kind of act about the same. There's not too much differential to them until you get to, uh, later enchantments and stuff. And by the end of the match, oh my goodness, there is stuff blocking your screen. Half the time you can barely move around. There's a lot going on by the end. And going up against CPUs, I do think uh, they kind of gatekeep you to where you can't like flawless uh, 4-0 the other side to where it kind of forces you to have to be 3-3 three, three, uh, and have a match point to finally end the game. The fact that it has you pick two characters and then you can go into your match. Um, I don't love that you can't switch between the two because it would have been cooler if you could you know, switch between them, unless if I'm just stupid and I don't know how, but as far as I can tell, you can't switch mid-game. And honestly, the CPU teammates they give you are pretty garbage, so most of the time I just don't end up using them. I will say this game, compared to Fairy Tale Dungeons, has quite the roster that you can pick from, but there is a lot of different characters from multiple guilds that you can pick from, which is very cool. So when selecting certain characters, I notice they do unique things, for example like Mira and her siblings and Urza. When you pick Mira, when she gets her magic ability, like she turned into her she-devil form, so that's pretty cool. And another example being uh, Lecter and Frosh will appear if you pick Sting and Rogue, they'll just be on the sidelines cheering you on during the match, which is such a fun detail. I do kind of wish you could speed up the enchantment thing, because picking enchantments between rounds is pretty slow and I just kind of wish you could skip by it. Maybe there is a way, I just don't know it right now. But generally, I actually really do think this game is very fun. There isn't really a much of a multiplayer aspect, unless if you're like couch co-oping. And this game is very bright and colorful. I kind of wish there was more uh, stage selections too, because there's really only one stage you're on. And a lot of the enchantments are easter eggs to the show, for example like the zodiac keys. There's like an Edelus uh, ability, and then there's just like a lot of silly or probably more Japan referencing easter eggs for enchantments. Also additionally compared to dungeons, this one is a lot cheaper. I believe I paid like five bucks for it, so that was a great deal. And honestly, I think for five bucks this game is definitely worth it, and for fairy tale fans it's just a lot of fun to go through. It's just more of like a little mini game volleyball simulator, I guess. Mario Kart elements of like random power-ups that you get that really change up the match. So talking about Fairy Tale Dungeons, this is a completely different game now to where you pick a character, you go through a dungeon, you get like these cards and you have to pick uh, your cards to attack and uh, as you go through the dungeon you get better cards. Firstly, I wish there was way more characters in this. You really only get five, for that being gray. Lucy, Natsu, Wendy, and Urza. Technically, if you're counting the cards, you could get more in the sense of you get companion characters and also like Lucy, she gets her celestial spirits. So like once you beat a dungeon, you get that character having a set move set that they can move on to future dungeons and uh, go to higher battles. And I kind of wish you could upgrade them more outside of just the first dungeon because pretty much after you beat the first dungeon that character is locked in with that move set and i mean maybe there is a way and i just haven't gotten there yet but currently as of me playing it i haven't gotten to that point if there is that this game is definitely obviously luck based but it is kind of hard at the beginning just because you don't have 
characters upgraded really at all because as you go through dungeons you'll unlock like additional things you can go into future dungeons with like for example for like lucy you could unlock a thing to where you enter the dungeon with certain keys or certain star dresses so lucy's a bit more powered up when she goes into a dungeon compared to just only having like a few keys and a few star dresses so the game definitely does get easier the longer you play because you're going to unlock things to help you in dungeons that are a lot more useful than the base things you have now characters like lucy and wendy i think it's super fun that as you go through the dungeons like in wendy's case you can get carla so when you beat a screen you'll get carla showing up at the end screen and for Lucy, when you get more keys, more and more of her celestial spirits will show up behind her as she wins uh, dungeons. Those are just kind of fun little side notes that I kind of love that they added in. Now, there is a bunch of these side characters you can find in dungeons, and they'll just give you a singular attack that you can use at uh, certain points in your game. I kind of wish that they were playable characters instead of just being a one random attack that they can give you and some are a lot more useful than others. It also would have been cool if they would have had a dungeon maker in here to where the community could share different dungeons and stuff and just kind of prolong the lifespan of this game. And similar to the beach volleyball game, this game has a lot of Easter eggs in the movesets. Pretty much every character has most of the main moves they have in the show. And there's a lot of just like little Easter egg moves and stuff like literally Natsu has a power up that says come on which is obviously an Easter egg to him fighting Sting and Rogue and that was a kind of a taunt he did during that fight. I love that as like an Easter egg and pretty much Lucy has like every star dress that she possibly has in the show along with her keys. I'm going to say for Urza, she doesn't have maybe every requip that she possibly has but like there's quite a big list of them. And honestly, it was just kind of fun for me to unlock more star dresses, unlock more requips, unlock more moves for all these people. Because really at the beginning, you do not really feel like those characters all that much because you really don't have much other movesets at all. But kind of as you get towards the end of a dungeon, you really do kind of feel like a more powered up version of each one of these guys. And this game was a little bit more expensive. This, I believe I paid like 15 bucks for this game. Um, I'd still say it's fun for fairy tale fans regardless. I think both of these are games you definitely should still pick up because they're both a fun time. And honestly, I was able to beat all three major dungeons in this game like in two hours. So, I mean, yeah, you can go and replay things quite a bit because if you want to go play some of the other characters, you're going to have to go back to the first dungeon anyway if you want to replay that. But overall, I had a really fun time with both of these games. I enjoyed aspects of both of them very much so. So what are your guys' thoughts on these games? I'll leave it in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and this is Dragao, signing out.